Hello, this is Russ Downer with Rivet Logic. Today we're going to take a quick look at a few capabilities within Crafter Studio that can help us edit and manage our content for multi channel publishing. We're looking at the home page of, of an example website. And uh, integrated with our website is our authoring capabilities uh, through this toolbar, which we call the contextual navigation. This uh, allows me to see my information architecture and browse that. It allows me to see what workflow options I have, um, access, get access to search, dashboards, and other features. Now, one of the things that we need to be able to do when we're trying to manage the same content across multiple channels is to have different templates for the different channels that we're going to be offering our content uh, through. And we want to be able to do this because we need our look and feel to adapt and be responsive to the form factors that we're going to be displaying our content in. So what Crafter Engine allows you to do is to have different templates for different uh, user agents. So as different devices come in, whether it's a traditional desktop or an iPhone or an iPad, the system can serve the same content through a different template. And we can see that here if we turn on our uh, preview tools and um, go to publishing channel, you can see that we support um, a preview for a number of different publishing channels. What I'm going to do is select iPhone and you can see that um, what we do is show the user a iPhone with the templates that the user would see for that particular device. And if I wanted to see what that would look like in landscape mode, I could turn the device on its side and see how the content expands for the device, or again, turn it right side up. I can also browse around the site just like I would in preview. So I can pull this down, for example, and then browse to a page and see that, or browse back. So this is a multi-channel in-context preview. Now let's look at some in-context editing. So here we are looking at a press release for Alfresco 4, and I can see I've got a quote here um, that could be formatted a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is turn on my in-context editing capabilities by just clicking on this pencil here. And when I do that, you can see over here on the left, right here that once I turn on the capability I've got pencils that show up over the regions that are editable. If I want to be able to find that region I can just say jump to region. This specific page only has one here but then the system will highlight that region for us and take us to it. So let's go ahead and touch this up a bit. Just going to click on the pencil and uh, we'll get a form here right on the page with uh, our content. And so the first thing I'm going to do is select the quote and then I'm going to apply an indent to it which also uh, through the style sheet applies some padding and um, I think it would be really really nice if we would add a headshot here. This quote is from John Newton the CTO of Alfresco and so we're going to grab a headshot of John so we'll click insert image and then browse for that image and Crafter Studio actually supports a number of ways to insert your images. Um, you can do that through an image gallery or off the desktop or through a digital rights management system. So I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, this screenshot here and we're going to go and ahead and upload it. There's our image. Now what I'd like to do is make that a little bit smaller so we'll make this 50 by 50. You can see here that it would be nice if we added some padding on the right and the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 10 pixels on the right and then 10 pixels on the bottom. And you can see the text moving away and then kerning properly. So this is our in-context edit. Now, um, I am managing this content for multiple channels. So I want to see what that's going to look like when I uh, click Save. So what I'm going to do is pull down our channel selector here and select iPhone vertical and you can see here that our style sheets have changed and um, and we can see that the content has taken on a smaller form factor and now we can see how how things look as they wrap so I'm happy with this edit I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and uh, this will update our content and allow me to see the preview of the page 
and there's our edit and looks good and I'm gonna go ahead and um, take a look at this in the iPhone as well so we're gonna open our publishing channel and pull down iPhone and there we go thanks for watching to learn more visit us online at www.rivetlogic.com